Hi, John from Dyn Spectrum. To follow up on the video I showed yesterday where we were moving the tachometer with the pedal, I've now got it so that on this vehicle that doesn't have a flex fuel sensor we can manually set the ethanol content so you no longer need to do this through a browser. A way to do this is with the engine off, I've made a dead zone so that below 500 rpm on the taco you can move the throttle and nothing happens and then it starts from 500 which would represent E5 and you can go around to 8000 revs in fact if you push the pedal all the way you should get about E82 but you can basically select it anywhere from E5 to E82 if you don't have a flex fuel sensor. So let's do that now. I've also got on here the gauges in the browser. Now normally here if there was an ethanol content it would display but because it's zero it doesn't. So what we're going to do now is put this to let's put this to E20. So you get it reasonably near and then press set and we're showing E20. Incidentally on this particular S8 the boost gauge here is on gauge set 6 so this also shows ethanol content here as 20%. So let's try setting E50 so let's bring it around to 5000 revs Forty nine point six near enough. Let's try it all the way, see if it is E eighty two as I predicted. E eighty one point six. Let's try and set it to E twenty five. Twenty four point eight. If you have an ethanol content sensor plugged in, just like if you set it in the browser, the ethanol content will immediately overwrite anything you put in. But there is a setting in the browser that you can use to have the DS1 not actually send ethanol content to the ECU if you prefer. I hope this will be useful. Thank you.